Okay, after we have our pieces cut out, um, I washed them off to remove the paper template that I had on there. Um, that's the easiest way to get it off, just water will dissolve the glue. Um, so the next thing I need to do, the next step is called filing. And filing is going to work on my edges and kind of refine those and refine the lines I've created. So in case they're not perfect, this is decent, but there's some, a few little weird spots and my points aren't like super pointy. Some of my straight lines are a little wobbly, so I wanna fix that. Um, it's pretty decent, so it won't need too much work. Um, I have been doing it for a while. <laughs> More likely your kind of shape might look like this if, because you guys are beginners. Um, so there's some like inconsistency in the curves here. It's a little bit wavy like this half versus this bottom half. That's what I want it to look like. That's what it looks like after I sawed it. Um, so if it's not perfect when you're done sawing, that's okay. We're gonna fix it um, through filing. So this one needs a decent amount of work. Um, that exterior, the interior, this kind of bottom line. So this little section right here, nice and smooth, flowing curve, crisp little corners, straight lines, that's what I want. Um, so at any point, if I don't have that, I need to file that to fix it. So I, there are quite a few different files we have. Um, we have a few larger ones, and they are, files come in different shapes. So this is called a flat file. The surface you file it with is flat. Um, this is half round, flat on one side, half round on the other. Um, so that shape. A few big ones if you're doing a really large piece, but we also have quite a few what are called needle files. So these are small ones. So I can fit into some of these little smaller areas. Um, and there, oh, there's a much wider variety of shapes in the needle file. So this is a flat one again, but we also have, let's see, some that are completely round. So that one will be helpful. Here's a little half round one. Let's see, we also should have like triangular one so three sides in the shape of a triangle and that angle would be really good to file some of these little smaller ones on here so I'm gonna keep that one out um, essentially I want the shape of my file to match the shape of the line I'm trying to clean up um, there's a break in there. we'll just start with these three for now Okay, um, so files have the little itty bitty tiny teeth on them. Um, similar to a saw blade, but less aggressive. Like this is not gonna cut you, whereas your saw blade would cut you. Um, but these are going to remove material. Um, these do have teeth right on the edge, as you can see. So again, really good for crispening up a shape that has that specific angle to it. Um, for my G, which is pretty rough, I have an exterior curve, kind of a little interior curve right there to do. So if I am doing my interior curve, this little section right here, I wanna use a rounded file that matches. So this is a half round, this side is round, and it's a pretty gentle, curve. I could also use this one, which is entirely round, um, but it's a little more rounded than what I want. I kind of want to match this curve right here. So I'm going to use this one to file the interior. So my I'm going to do this right up against the edge of my bench pin because my metal is decently thin. So it is gonna be, I don't really wanna bend it, but I could just like bend this 
and twist it all up. So if I'm doing it right up against the edge of my bench pin, the wood is behind my metal, so supporting it. Um, otherwise, sometimes when you file, like you'll just bend your whole thing, especially if it's small like this um, and thin like this. So especially when I'm doing this, I want to have wood behind it to help support it. Um, but yeah, we're doing this interior curve right here. And files are a little bit different than sawing. Um, so sawing is kind of an up and down motion, technically only cuts on the pull down motion. Um, when I am filing, it's only going to remove material as I push away from myself. So it's not gonna be a sawing motion, it's gonna be a push, a push, a push. Um, actually, I'm gonna hold it like this so you guys can see a little bit better. So again, only as I push away from myself is it removing material. And my goal here is to like smooth and even out my line. So I'm gonna actually start on those, that bump right there and try to bring that down to level with the rest of my curve. Just a little bit, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the smoother it is when you kind of like, you can kind of even it out. Step one, that makes the rest of the process a little bit easier. So you can see it's a little bit smoother already. Um, let me get this little bump right here. Okay. Um, once I have any like really big bumps removed, I can continue with doing a very uh, like a much broader stroke so i want to kind of create like a really nice smooth flowing curve that's my goal and in order to do that i want to cover like kind of as much surface area as possible in one stroke and that really helps me like level everything out so i'm going to start at this is more of a diagonal motion top of my file and as i push forwards i'm also going to go sideways so it's not a direct sideways motion i always have to be pushing forwards um so a little bit more like that so it does look like i'm only going sideways but if you notice i'm starting at the tip of my file and at the end of my stroke, I'm further down on my file. So it's more of a diagonal motion. Um, and that's helping me just kind of smooth and level everything out. So I'm gonna do that a little bit and then I can like take a break, look at it, see what parts need to be cleaned up. I kind of have like a little divot right there. So I'm gonna file on this side a bit and this side a bit to kind of even that all out. Um, so yeah, that interior line is pretty good. Like that's a little wonky and I can make this part a little cleaner if I want to. Um, but let me show you how to do a few other areas. So I wanna work next on this exterior curve. You can see it's pretty wonky and lumpy out of this big bump right there. So in order to do an outside curve, I actually want to use a flat file. So generally when I'm filing, I am perpendicular to my metal. But personally, I think doing out exterior curves is easier to go parallel to your metal and follow the curve. So more of like a rounded motion. Um, I personally like to use the larger files for exterior curves like this. So I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to do it at an angle. Um, trying to follow the curvature. Uh, I can't do it like that. <laughs> and any place where I have these big high bumps, I am filing them down. So any mountains are coming down to match my valleys. And I don't know if you can see this, but I'm trying to look at the edge right here. You can see the places where I filed, like here, are nice and smooth. And then there are some places that are lower. 
than the surface area, right there, right there. They're like little notches in the edge. Um, and my goal is to file until this is one smooth plane. So that's a little bit hard to see, but I can take a marker of some kind and draw right on my edge. And then as I file, if the surface is level, it's going to remove the marker. And anywhere where there's like little holes or divots, the marker will stay. So my goal would be to file until those little divots are removed. Um, so my two goals in filing are one, to make the whole edge level, so removing all my divots, and number two, just to make it look good, like a nice smooth flowing curve, um, a neat and even shape. Sometimes, even if you remove all of the divots, you still have like kind of a wonky curve. So this has all been filed. There aren't any notches in the edge, but it's still kind of chunky and not a real beautiful flowing curve like this part as well. Um, so that's the second part of your goal with filing is to, like if you have a straight line, make it straight, make your corners nice and crisp and not weirdly rounded like this. Um, yeah, nice smooth flowing curve. Kind of like this part looks pretty good and then it gets like uh, 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 angly. Um, that's what I want to try to avoid. So a flat file on an exterior curve. Um, I'll finish this one and to show you guys what it looks like. But if I were finishing up this one, um, all of these edges are flat. So I'm gonna choose some kind of flat file. I can use a bigger one on these exterior shapes. I can use a smaller one on the inside and Again, I'm going with kind of a diagonal stroke. So tip of my file at the left-hand side as I push forwards, moving across as well. And my goal, again, to remove divots to make this level, flat line. Ooh, one thing I do need to be careful when I get into this corner, um, the, again, the edges have teeth on them. So if I get too close, I'm actually messing up the top of my line as well. Um, there are a few files, like this one, that you can see the back part does not have teeth, just this part has teeth. This is really nice to get into close corners because I will file this bottom line, but it's not gonna mess up this top part. So that's your goal in filing, nice, clean lines, not lumpy, weird shapes, um, always pushing forward as you go to make it nice and crisp and even.